Hey everybody, how are you? It's Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It's Sunday, January 12th, 2020. Keeping this going every single day, just like I told you guys. The reason I made the video so late, I wanted everybody to watch the games in football. It's Sunday night football, so it was great to watch. What I wanted to say really fast, I only wanted to make a quick video because there really isn't much going on in the last couple of days, but I still wanted to talk about the NL West, and I wanted to talk about how many games do I think the Arizona Diamondbacks are going to win. I'm making this big prediction about the Diamondbacks are going to win the division. I make so, which means you obviously have to win a lot of games. I'm calling for the Diamondbacks to win 95 games next year. We won 85 last year. That is without getting Bumgarner, without getting Calhoun, without getting Vogue off the bench, getting rid of Holland, who blew a lot of games. I, I just, I see the Diamondbacks completely taking over, and I'm going to tell you why. I said this before: the Giants are out. They are going another way. Colorado Rockies, by the middle of the year, like the Arenado's rumored to go to St. Louis soon, they will be a whole different team. Murphy, Blackman, Arenado, they won't be there by the middle of the year. Okay? San Diego is up and coming. They are very dangerous. But I do not see them being ready for another year or two. Right? I can see them approaching a wild card, but still not being able to beat the Diamondbacks. Right? And I see the Dodgers going back completely. So I see the Diamondbacks winning around 95 games. I see them winning the division. I see the Dodgers going into second. That's my prediction. And then if you put Arenado going to St. Louis, the games get easier, right? The games get easier for the Diamondbacks. You don't have to go through those tough games in Colorado like you always did. You don't have to go through the tough games in San Francisco because Bumgarner is not there. This is a huge difference, a huge swing. You're talking about 38 games a year that you battle with the Giants, with Bumgarner, and you battle with Colorado, or all those crazy games back and forth. This is a whole big difference. So that's worth at least 10 games right there. That's my opinion. That's what I think. So I just want to know what you guys think because I'm going on a big limb saying that, and I know I have a lot of Diamondback fans here. I'm hoping. I can't wait for the season. Jackie Bradley was also rumored to definitely go. And that's another guy that the Diamondbacks keep talking about. So I know we talked about Bradley. I know we talked about Marte. I know we talked about Pilar. Sometimes people mention Kane. You know, there's a lot of different guys that you can get. But again, I could see Bradley going. The only reason I wasn't too sure about him because he's a lefty. Because that's three lefties in the whole outfield between Peralta, Bradley, and Calhoun. But anything to get Marte out of the center field. So I want you guys to know. Let me know what you guys think about how many games the Diamondbacks are going to win. And who's going to win the division. Anyway, guys, we'll definitely make a bunch of videos coming up soon when the rumors start getting a little bit hotter and everything starts getting on. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.